ingredients are adding up to big trouble, caffeine and alcohol. There is now a major government crackdown on a popular drink called Four Loco. Could Ohio be the next state to stop sales of it? News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson joins us live with reaction. Well, Danita, it is a drink loaded with two things that college students can't get enough of, caffeine and alcohol. Perhaps that's why they're so popular on campuses like here at Cleveland State. And it also explains why they could potentially be so dangerous. Anyone who's ever had a Four loco has a story to tell. Usually, it's not a good one. One Four loco plus, you know, a little bit of beer put me over the edge of where I'm usually comfortable at being if I'm trying to drink. And I got belligerent, not to where I was getting into fights or anything, but um, where I just wanted to be rowdy. Each can contains the equivalent of six beers and two cups of coffee, leading some to call Four loco blackout in a can or liquid cocaine. But I was offered one this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, but honestly, it's you just... You don't want to mess with something that you really have no idea how it's going to react to your body. Four states have already banned the beverage, and the Food and Drug Administration has ordered makers of these so-called alternative energy drinks to stop mixing caffeine and alcohol. Today, Ohio reached an agreement with the makers of Four Loco to stop distributing the product here. But stores will be allowed to sell the existing stock, which could fly off the shelves as word of the ban spreads. Some question whether prohibition is the answer. I don't think there is really anything that wrong with them because a lot of people drink Red Bull and vodka, and it's kind of the same thing. It's just in a shot. Now, the makers of Four Loco have already told the FDA that they will take out the caffeine in their beverage and sell alcohol-only versions. Across the country, two students have already been, uh, the, bl the deaths of two students have already been blamed on this particular de beverage. Live in Cleveland, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5. So, do you think the FDA should ban drinks like Four Loco? Viewers are sounding off tonight. Elizabeth writes, yes, it should be banned. We don't need another thing for kids to get high on. But Crystal disagrees. She says, be responsible for your own actions. Don't blame the drink because you don't stop. Don't blame the teacher because your kid got an F. Share your comments on Facebook.com slash WEWS5. Kim and Pete will read more on Good Morning Cleveland.